Hello and welcome guys to episode number 5 and a 3 race episode of the Worst Car Championship. But first up, it's the Spanish Grand Prix with Calls for FC 96. <laughs> And it's a, I say intermediate, yeah, intermediate sort of qualifying, not wet, but it, you know, it's not perfect conditions for this race, but we'll take it for qualifying anyway, not this race, for qualifying. We'll take it, downforce isn't great on this car, but Spain's a track which I, I'm not particularly fast at, but I enjoy, so it's, you know, it's not too bad. Not got bad straight line speed down here either with the setup, we're running as we run wide, run so wide, are we going to get this invalid? No, we're not going to get this invalid. However, we went to Narnia when we were trying to get around that corner. I right, will just take you on this qualifying lap. I think it'll be a fairly, it'll be an okay qualifying lap. I think it won't be too bad as we understeer like an absolute bitch. You know, I think it'll be apart from that a fairly standard qualifying lap. The only call we'd have to look out for is the corner off the sort of second long straight because you can end up locking up down there and going pretty wide you know missing the apex and going pretty wide onto the um not astro turf but you know runoff area the run wide there again the understeer is real in this car yeah just here this corner however we break nicely don't lock up hit the apex nicely hit the exit well as well Breaking down now, this last chicane and then onto the final corner. We're in P8 at the moment, so let's see if we can make up any spaces. Good line. Made it up to P5, made up three spaces in there. As we move around, I think it'll be P5. I can't see us losing any more places. That's a great qualifying, P5. That's solid. Just wait for confirmation, of course, if anything changes. Yeah, there we go, confirmation, P5. Close to Ricardo, not you know, had a decent gap to Fernando Alonso as well, so that's good as well. So let's, yeah, let's move on to the race. Let's get this going, lads. It will be a, be a fun race, I think. I think there'll be, I hope for a sort of second. Are you kidding me? My engineer wants second place. Good luck. I'm in a manner. Well, not manner. I don't think it was manner at this time. It was Marussia. Well, I'm on a, I think Manor was 2015, how we are being absolutely demolished by Bottas and Alonso by the looks of that, so we'll cut to the inside. Break, 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 break. So there's contact with me and Vettel. Turn in. Was that a collision? Yeah, that's Vettel round. Did we collide with him? Are you sure did we collide with him? Let's have a look at the replay a second. Hold on. Here we go. So, oh, I don't know. It looks like we have collided with him, but... From there, it looks like we've left enough room. Or have we closed the door? No, Sebastian straightened up slightly. I think we've left enough room there for him to slide slide on by. He might be on the AstroTurf a bit, but I don't know. It looked like to open his steering a bit, which was which was a bit weird. And as we, it was a pretty dull race. Held ourselves in in third. Made a gap. Gap was open in front of us. So that was a fairly boring race. And we hold on for P3. We've got a podium here in Spain. Let's. It was a really solid race from us this weekend, so Jules Bianchi on the podium, look at that. Here he goes, we pick up our trophy, confirmation to P3 there. See, look, as you can see by the fastest laps, opened a gap to the guys behind. And then the guys in front opened a gap as well, so that's fairly solid. We're up into P4 here. Every part of the team pulled together. On pole today after blowing the and as we move on to the Monaco Grand Prix now. No qualifying for this, unfortunately, but I think with P14, we didn't have a good qualifying. If you'd have seen in the offline sprint mode championship. Yeah, Monaco is not a great track for us, so we end up with a decent start. Not too bad, considering the people around us who have better starts, so it wasn't too bad. 
as we hit the guy in front. Been caught up, but it, we get away with it. Everyone gets away with it, so it's fine. And I thought Kvyat Nitrus was going to go up, not the escape road, but like the pit lane entry, which is a definite corner cut. As we get tagged, we hit Hulkenberg and get tagged. We just couldn't get off his tyre and thankfully we sustained no damage, but it's just poor. Solid, just trying to keep it clean as we try and go up the inside of Ericsson. Let tag him as well. Try and go up the inside. Not bad. Oh, we've hit the wall on the inside. As Perez hits us now. Three seconds. I'm not sure it'll make any difference anyway. We're in last. So it doesn't matter too much. You haven't got any damage currently, though. So that's a good start, I guess. If we don't have damage, we're going to lap three now. As we get so irritated by this, ten seconds, overtake Perez, crash into the wall. I'm pretty sure that our tyre went into the wall there rather than against it, but I don't know. There's a, look, these, these two races between here and Spain as we crash again. There we go. As we reverse, Perez probably hits us there. Um, yeah, they were very dull races. God, Jesus, he understood. They were very dull races, and it was just a case of. Um, yeah, there we go. How have we not? Have we not got damage on or something? I swear we haven't got damage on. But um, they were very dull races. Nothing really happened until the bits, which obviously were shown. So, I wouldn't say boring stints because they weren't really stints. They're three laps, but it was yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't massively interesting. So just skip them. And I think the next race here is Canada, if I believe right. 49 seconds behind the leader. On a track which is 70, about 78 seconds. So we now slipped to 5th place. 10 points behind Sebastian Vettel. And I think, I believe, yeah, the next race should be Canada. It's nearly two o'clock in the afternoon and it's time to go racing here in Montreal. There we go, we are in Canada. We qualified in P3, so it's fairly solid qualifying with the Mercedes ahead of us. Which, well, it wasn't to be expected, but you know, it was We we weren't exactly gonna try and fend them off. As we try and get a good start here. Not a great start, Bottas has got off got us off the line. There we go, as we turn in nicely, try and fend off from Valtteri, no, we get tagged with Valtteri, but thankfully there isn't really much else than that. As Ricardo tries to go up the inside, braking, try and cut him off, I think that was a touch there, I did feel a touch. Ricardo's still behind us though. End of lap one, we're just coming through the chicanes here. Nice, good run on Valtteri here. Let's see if we can try and get him into the first corner. He's a bit of slipstream, a bit of rich mix. Might be able to be closing in. We're going to dive out of the inside. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Bottas trying to go around the outside. No, just a little bit wide. It's not too bad, though. We're breaking down to the first of the two... Well, so the three chicanes of this track. Down into the second as we then come to the third as we've really closed up on Valtteri Bottas here. Had to get out of it so we're going to crash straight into the back of him. So let's try and go around the outside. No, nothing doing. And we'll try and use Slipstream and a bit of Rich Mix down here over Bottas. It's got great straight line speed. Optimal Rich Mix. Breaking into the final chicanes of the uh, back straights. We get a great run on Valtteri here. Cut the chicane slightly, but it's not too bad. Use some slipstream. We're gonna go around the we're gonna go around the outside. And then he turns to the inside. Great move. DRS enabled, so Bottas is gonna be very good into this final corner. Not final, yeah, final corner actually down the back straight. We go slightly wide, but it's not too bad. 
don't think we're going to catch the two uh, Mercedes, so we're looking hopefully for a podium here. Good 15 points would be nice. We're in a little bit wide, but still not too bad. We're doing good, it's okay. Bottas tries to go up the inside. We block him off, so it's fine. And maybe a little touch, but not much. Bottas is still behind us. Bottas has got a great exit look. And he's tagged us. And he's tagged us. Oh, I can't believe there's three seconds as well of penalties. As we move down to, I think that's P7 now. I can't believe we've got a three second penalty on top of that as well. That's unbelievable. We got tagged by Valtteri after we tried to cover the inside. Didn't realise he was there. Ah, uh, two seconds al alongside that as well. Is that two two seconds time penalties to make it nine? I don't know. I actually don't know where we've come here. We'll have to have a look. Where is it? Dunno, it only sounds not great. P12. Oh, we got seven seconds worth of penalties. I actually can't believe that. It wasn't nine, I don't know where I got nine from, but my god, I can't believe that. We are off for such a good race, and from P4 to start off with, we're now down to P7. <sighs> Our luck this weekend has just been unbelievable. Um, anyway, guys, if you liked... Well, it wasn't really great, but if you enjoyed that, then give it a like. Subscribe for more F1 content. Project Cars, um, F1 2006 as well, which I started over the past week or so. Um, then, yeah, give me a subscribe, comment, any, you know, I like, like reading comments to give, you know, to, to help me, you know, record all my videos and things like that. Recently purchased an Elgato, but this wasn't recorded on my Elgato, so that will be... For the finale videos I talked about in the, I think it was F1 2006 video, the Championship Edition video, I will be doing finales of this and the worst car and the uh, offline sprint mode championship as well. So you know, comments will be much appreciated. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, guys.